Hey guys, this is Garn Ann from Together Somewhere. We're spending a few days in Pattaya, Thailand, which is a beach town about two hours southeast of Bangkok. Today, we have a chance to see what housing prices are like in the Pattaya area. We're going to walk through four homes that are for sale to foreigners so you can know what's available to you if you're in the market. So, let's check it out. So let's begin looking at house number one. All of the houses we're going to look at today are in the Hue Yai area, which is southeast of Pattaya, about 20 minutes. So here's the streets of the village we're in. And this is the first house. You can see it's got a nice uh, uh, wall around it with a gate opens. And I think it's good for a two car garage. Let's walk in the front door. Oh, before we walk in the front door, look at, let's look at the front yard. So there is a little green here. You have kind of a green, uh, gr uh, green area on the wall. And also over on the side, you have a green area. And it's always nice to have some grass in the front of the house, a little on the sides. Now let's walk inside. And on the left, you can see a shoe rack. Nice coat rack there. And so this furniture that you can see is all included in the deal. This house is a two, three bedroom, two bath for 5.6 million baht. And it includes all this furniture you're gonna see. Nice living room, completely furnished with a dining set in the back. And there's your kitchen. And, oh, there's a uh, washing machine by the side door. And here is a bathroom, full bath that goes, it's shared by two bedrooms. It's got a, a rain shower. And we're walking into the first guest room. Fully furnished again. And let's look outside. So what you're looking at is the front of the house with that green area we just were in. High ceilings. Each room is air conditioned and fully furnished. Closet over here. see everything is brand new. Okay, now we're walking into the second guest room. Uh, this room is not furnished, uh, but all the rooms are pretty sizable in this house. Notice the wood laminate floor throughout the house. And there's a closet, again the floor. And we're walking back into the living room and we're gonna walk into the, this is the master bedroom. And this is fully furnished with a TV. And this faces the side of the house. And this is the closet. And over to the right, you can see the master bedroom, master bathroom. And what I really like about this, it's not only got a full tub, but right next to it, it's got a shower. So it's, kind of interesting and this all, is all closed off by a glass door and then this is the toilet area and sink and here's a closet uh, with a mirror next to it and we're gonna walk out of the master bedroom back into the living room in just a minute here we are in the living room looking at the kitchen again Look at that big refrigerator. You also have a stove and a microwave here. And I like that sort of dining area uh, for just people who are in the kitchen right there. And there's a sink. And the stove. 
stove top right there. And you get your toaster and heating for your coffee. Big sink overlooking the side of the house. And here's the dining area. So you both you have kind of a sit down in the kitchen area and you also have a dining area which overlooks the side and back of the house. And I'm walking out the side door. This is on the side of the house. Another green area. And you look back in the garden towards the back of the house. And there's the front of the house, towards the front of the house. So you have a lot of green on the side. And uh, I, I kind of like all the bushes that climb up the walls because it, uh, it just adds to the beauty and uh, detracts from feeling that feeling walled in. The back of the area, uh, area there's a, a small walkway, but there's not really much back there. Okay, here's the community area for this first house. So there's a community pool, which is really nice. and it's clean and it doesn't look like it's used that much. And here's the kiddies area, got a nice green space here, the swing set and uh, just a big area for them to run around. And this is kind of cool, this is a slide on a hill. I thought that was kind of neat. And a big green area where kids can play soccer, football and uh, up on the second floor here is a small gym and a community center. So it's very nice and uh, it's a big area. So you may not have a pool at your house, but you can just walk down the street and you have this community area. Again, this house is selling for 5.6 million and uh, the details are gonna be up in the corner of the screen. Here's another part of the uh, kids area. Okay, now we're gonna look at house number two, also in the Huiyai area, Batia. This house is a 6.1 million baht house, or about $185,000. It's three bedrooms, two bath, and this is a model home. So there's a lot of nice furniture in it and it's included in the sale price. It also has a pool. We have a one uh, car drive-in here through the gate. And we have some nice grass and foliage on both sides of the house. And this is the front door. And right in the front, we have this very nice pool. And uh, it's right off the master bedroom. And I love these little elephants on the side. It's kind of a cool addition. And again, you have a nice green area uh, before you get to the wall. So you can put some trees in there. There's room for trees. You have more trees or bushes you want to put in. And very nice clean pool. This place is brand new. It's a model and it's right after you get in the front gate but it's also on the end. It's an end lot which makes it kind of special. Look at the furnishings in here. Very new and kind of high quality. Really adds a lot to the house. You look out of the living room and you can see the pool. And again, it's a three bedroom, two bath. This is one, this is the first guest room and it overlooks the side of the house. Great furnishings. And this is the second bedroom. Again, very well furnished, high ceilings. Got a working area there. And we walk out into the living room kitchen and the kitchen's got a big refrigerator. It's a nice little area in the corner of the house. And here is the first bathroom. I love the skylight, it really adds a lot to it. You, got, you have a rain shower and a nice bathroom. That's for two of the guest rooms. 
and you can walk out the side of the house and you see lots of green and looking at the living room now and going into the master bathroom which is very nice i love the uh the wall is very nice very uh well tiled it's got a um rain shower and nicely designed uh, glass around the shower and we're into the bedroom now big bed high ceilings very nicely furnished with a closet over there i like that shelf by the closet and you look out from the master bed and there you see the pool it's very nice And all this is included with the 6.1 million baht price. So this house is has a, has a pool. So if you go to the community center, this is the community center. Uh, it, they have a uh, sort of football slash soccer field for the kids. Uh, a lot of fun. So here we are at house number three in another village in the Hui Yai area of Patia. This is a three bedroom, two bath. And this is the cheapest of the, of the property so far. It only 4.3 million baht or about $130,000. This property has no pool, but there's a big community pool, which we'll show you later. It's got a one car parking area. And we look, we're looking at the sides of the house. We see some green area. And there's a nice little green area in the front of the house. And also to the side. And here we are walking in the front door. And all this furniture goes with the house. I love the ceiling in the living room and that chandelier, very, very classy. Uh, and this is the first bedroom. Uh, this is just, I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it goes along with the house. And the first, the two bedrooms are not furnished. These are the two guest rooms. Again, high ceilings. This is looking, the two bedrooms are looking on the side of the house, the windows to the side of the house, and in the back of the house, the kitchen, and a small dining area. And this is the master bedroom, which is on the other side of the house, again, with a big ceiling. All this furniture is included but none in the two uh, guest bathroom, uh, guest bedrooms. And this is the master bathroom. Nice sink and shower area. Walking back into the kitchen with the refrigerator. And this is looking at the back of the house. This house has a more simple design than the first two I've showed you, uh, which is why it's a little cheaper, but it's still very nice and clean. And uh, this is the back of the house. You're gonna love this community center. Look at that pool, one of the biggest pools I've seen in the Pate area, and there are some pretty big pools. Very big pool. Okay, so the fourth house is the biggest. It's only a two bedroom, two bath, but it's 250 square meters. It's also been used as an Airbnb and it's actually presently being used as an Airbnb. So it needs a little work. Uh, here is a one car area for parking and uh, there's a nice pool over here and a big pool deck uh, and a nice area and entrance to the side. And I'm over here by the pool, which is nice. It's a very nice pool. Everything is included with this home. You can see it's a little, uh, it, it's had a little wear and tear. Uh, the furniture is all included. 
Airbnbs tend to age faster because they just constantly have new people moving in and out. Uh, but it's a big area for a two, two bedroom, two bath. You have, you have this big kitchen area over here with a table in the middle, which I like. Uh, this is a dining, he has two dining areas. One right here where you can just sit, talk in the kitchen, and then there's a table and chairs over to the side, which we just looked at. This is looking at the front of the house. This is both bathroom, both bedrooms are master uh, bedrooms and you can see the owner has put as many beds as possible because it's an Airbnb. But the bedrooms are big and the ceilings are high and the bathrooms are pretty sizable too. Here's the first bathroom, it's got a big shower area and we're going to walk into the second bedroom now which again has two big beds. And here's a bathroom, shower, full bathroom, high ceilings, tiled walls. And this bedroom I think looks out, yeah, it looks out the back over the pool. And we're going back into the living room area. There's the second table. High ceilings with a beam, kind of cool. The house is nice. It just needs a paint job and some of the furniture is a little old. Uh, the pool looks like it's in great shape and it's a big pool too. So please comment below and let us know which house you like best. Also, if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you again together somewhere again soon. Bye. Bye.